Ghana's $21.1 billion ambitious railway project will change the face of the country. Hello, explorers. Welcome to another exciting video presented to you by Displore. In this video, we shall be taking you to the beautiful country of Ghana to look at Ghana's $21.1 billion railway project, which will change the face of the country. Railways are a great way for economics to develop as it has always been a boosting factor for any country's industrialization and economic development. By conveying the population of a country from the urban area to another or from rural to urban areas, railways provide a socially enthusiastic environment as well as economic competitiveness among cities and nations. In countries where the railway systems are developed, it has served as an essential mechanism through which growth is accelerated in the country. As a result of this, many nations strive to incorporate the transformation of the railway sector when developmental plans are being drawn for that country. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Starting the 1950s, the railway transportation system of Ghana was considered to be one of the best in Africa. The railway was the major transport system connecting the major cities of Ghana and it was very reliable, affordable, efficient and safe. The golden effect of the railway system was good. It was at transporting food and raw materials from the farms to the markets as well as the people from the rural to the urban centers hence improving on the economic development of the country. Shortly after the independence, Ghana laid down a robust railway system which connected the coastal areas of the country to resource-producing areas of the country, thus stimulating the economic activities of mining, timber, agricultural growing areas of the country. And hence, between the 1950s and 60s, the railway was the preferred means of transportation amongst the petty and large-scale traders of Ghana. But then, the railway system got less and less attention, right down to even neglect and abandonment of some railway stations. This is the reason why in recent years, a good population of the country have never used or even thought of using a train as a means of transportation. In this video, we will look at how far the Ghanaian rail sector has fallen from grace and its new mega $21.5 billion project which will set its feet back on the top. Background of the railway system in Ghana Operations began in 1898 under the Gold Coast Civil Service with headquarters in Sekondi. The original 304km Eastern Railway was built in 1923 by the British for the purpose of hauling minerals and cocoa. Construction of the Ghana Railway started before there were many port facilities and locomotives and all the equipment had to be littered over the beach. In 2010, a contract was signed to construct a railway from Paga on the border with Burkina Faso to Kumasi plus a branch from Tamale to Yendi. The railway network in Ghana resembles a large capital A with three components, a western division from Tekondi slash Takorandi to Kumasi, an eastern division from Accra to Kumasi and a central division from Honey Valley to Kotoku. The 953km network includes branch lines on the western division to Prestia and Nawaso, a branch line to Kade on the central division and branch lines to Tema and Shai Hills on the eastern division. Now, very little of the railway network remains in operation. Accra to Tema, Accra to Kotoku and Awaso to Dunkwa and south to Takoradi are the only parts that are known to be in operation. Very little is known about the current operating state of the rest of the system. The transportation system in Ghana is predominantly owned by private owners, hence bridging the gap in the poor transportation system. Ghana has 947 km of track inherited from the colonial areas with two lines, the western line and the eastern line. Ghana's new railway project. Despite years of neglect in recent years, railways have gotten a lot of attention in the development plans of emerging African countries. Ethiopia, for example, reopened its 450-mile colonial rail line with a cost of $3.4 billion fund from the Chinese. Kenya, Morocco, Algeria and other countries are constructing and refurbishing old railway systems into modern railway systems which has been improving and as well as enriching the lives of citizens of these countries. Ghana has not been left behind at all as it is taking the necessary steps toward ensuring the transformation of the railway system of its country. Ghana is about to engage in a mega railway construction project to connect all major cities and strategic mineral resource sites within the country. The ambitious six-phase master plan for rehabilitation and construction of new standard gauge railways line is expected to create over 45 kilometers of modern railway networks within the next 10 years. Estimated to cost about $21.5 billion, the project is expected to bring the country to parity with a world-class train network system capable to run at a speed between 120 to 170 km per hour. 
The project will be financed through government resources of Ghana, private investors and the Chinese Development Bank credit facility. Award of Contracts for the Railway Construction The first phase of the project has already begun with the award of subcontracts to companies to tackle various sections of the rail. The Ghanaian government has awarded so far $9 billion worth contracts to various companies in its quest to achieve 1,400 rails line by the end of 2020. Negotiations are ongoing for the award of contracts to other contractors for the completion of other sections of the railway system within the next 10 years. Ghana Railway Authority awarded a $500 million contract to CRW Chief for the first plan of the new rail line. The Ghana Railway Development Authority GRDA, and China Railway Wuju Group Corporation CRWG, have signed a $500 million agreement for the continuation of the development of a standard gauge western line. As per the terms of the agreement, the Manso through Takwa to Dunkwa section of the line will be developed. The total line is about 100 km long. The project will thus include both passenger and freight services. The 340km Eastern Line has been awarded to the Ghana European Consortium in a $2.2 billion contract. The construction is currently going on, expected to be completed in two years. The project, spanning 27 years, builds, operated and transfer private investment model agreement is believed to be founded by the government of Germany and covers the technical infrastructure, electrification and rolling star amongst others. It is expected that the Ghana government will have a 30% share in the project and a 100% transfer to the government after 27 years of operation. The Coastal Railway Network Limited has also earned the contract for the 570km transit line. The transit line will commence in the east of the border with Togo and will head towards the west alone, the coast of the Gulf of Guinea connecting several cities right towards the border of the Ivory Coast. The expansion is in line with the objective of all Western African states, which is to link up all member states by rail. The project will result thus in direct rail activities with neighboring countries such as Togo, the Republic of Ivory Coast to boost trade and facilitate economic growth and development amongst the linking states of the project. It will also fulfill the bigger agenda of the Union of Africa Railways, which is to link them up through the rail. The Ghanaian government recently announced awarding $560 million contract for the 107km rail line around Takorani. The project is expected to connect Ghana to its three neighboring countries. Another contract was awarded for a 99km long Tema Mbakandan railway for total project estimated at $230 million. It starts at Tema, travels through Afiena and ends at Mbakadan, a few kilometers away from Akosombo. AFCON's infrastructure is responsible for the completion of Tema and Mbakadan railway line. Udai Viazina, general manager of AFCON's infrastructure, said that the project would be completed on time. The country intends to reconstruct a 330km line in the eastern part to support the bauxite industry. The $1 billion project envisages the conversion of the 1067mm gauge from Accra to Kumasi and the 24km section from Achimota to Tema. In the same time, Ghana is currently working to rehabilitate the Kojokrom to Takwa line and to build a standard gauge line from Kojokrom to Manso. In May, the ministry announced that the four bidders were shortlisted for a project which involved the construction and operation of a new line linking Ghana and Burkina Faso. It is expected that the line will have a length of 1,000 km from Tema Port to Ho, Hohie, Yendi, Tamale and Paga at the border with Burkina Faso, having a connection with the Ouagadougou capital. The government of Ghana has also signed a concession agreement with the South African firm I Sky Train Consortium Holdings for the construction of $2.26 billion worth high-speed railway in Ghana's capital of Accra. Backed by the African Development Bank funding, the Accra SkyTrain high-capacity public transport system will be completely automated and cost-efficient. The town of Dunkwa on Orphan has been earmarked by Ghana's Ministry of Railway Development to become a major new railway hub. The Dunkwa Railway Hub will cost a number of facilities such as maintenance and repair centers, training centers, locomotive depots, freight operations areas, amongst other modern auxiliaries. Conclusion the effects of a good transport system in any country cannot be underestimated as it is imperative for the progress of the nation. The construction of Ghana's railway system will not only link up the cities of the country but also most of its neighboring countries. With this railway line in place, economic and industrial explosion are just around the corner as a good means of transport implies faster transportation of goods and raw materials from farms to markets as well as companies. 
This will greatly reduce spoilage of goods as well as improve industrial processes and outputs. The rush for investment in the country is the next byproduct of a great rail system as such as improving on the finances of the country. What's more, the linking of other countries to Ghana will greatly improve bilateral ties as well as international trade. The truth is, the merits of this project are endless and we hope other African nations can take the baton and invest in its railway systems, of which Africa currently has one of the worst in the world. That will be a huge economic, industrial, fiscal as well as many other advantages to the continent at large. There you have it, explorers. That was a look at Ghana's $21.1 billion railway project that would change the face of the country. Thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy this video, do well to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.